Hello. Oh, that's her. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of one times five? Mrs. Wonderwand can't help playing tricks on her friends. <laughs> when she comes across Mr. Flaming Five, she casts a spell and changes him into Flaming Five Clown. One times five is five. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of two times five? When two squeaks comes across flaming five, she is so frightened. She runs away as fast as she can. But flaming five breathes out an enormous flame and changes the frightened mouse into a boiling hot snail. The head of the snail takes the shape of a one and its shell the shape of a zero. Two times five is ten. <laughs> Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of three times five? When three can sign meat, baby flaming five, he can expect to have the worst tricks played on him. <laughs> baby flaming five pulls out a big hammer and delights in banging nails into three Constein's head. <laughs> Luckily for three Constein, daddy flaming five arrives <laughs> and takes away the hammer in the shape of a one. Three times five is 15. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of four times five? Vamp four isn't very good with matches. He tries as hard as he can to strike them, but he can never do it. Suddenly, Flaming Five arrives, and Vamp Four has an idea. He bites the dragon's tail, who breathes out an enormous flame in the shape of a two. At last, Mr. Vamp Four's pumpkin, which is in the shape of a zero, is finally alight. Four times five is twenty. What's the story of five times five? When Daddy Flaming Five wants to play with his little boy, he throws him up in the air using his big tummy. Little Flaming Five has a wonderful slide on a super toboggan in the shape of a two. Five times five is 25. What's the story of five times six? When Flaming Five sees Scorpy Six going by, he wants to tame him. <laughs> he gets out his whip and he cracks it in the shape of a three <laughs> and breathes out a flame to light the magnificent ring of fire in the shape of a zero. Aha, uh -huh. so who's the strongest now? Five times six is thirty. Oh, What's the story of five times seven? Mr. Flaming Five is invited to the mummy Ram Seven's birthday party. As usual, he always wants to light the candles. Very proudly, he takes a deep breath and blows such a big flame that it burns everything in its way. The mummy, the cake, and even Mrs. Flaming Five's horns, which are in the shape of a three. 
She is so angry. She shows them to her husband. <laughs> five times seven is thirty-five. <laughs> What's the story of five times eight? When Baby Flaming Five is suddenly frightened by Spooky Eight the ghost, <laughs> he jumps and gives a little fart. <laughs> the smell makes the ghost feel unwell and attracts a fly. Flaming Five brings out his fly swatter and, trying to hit the fly, he hits Spooky Eight instead and flattens him like a pancake. <laughs> Baby Flaming Five throws away his broken fly swatter in the shape of a four and breathes some hot air to bring the poor ghost round. That he breathes so hard, the Spooky Eight gets bigger and bigger and bigger, like a ball in the shape of a zero. Five times eight is forty. What's the story of five times nine? When Flaming Five meets Slimy Nine at dinner time, the meal is right there. He hurries to breathe out a beautiful flame to light the barbecue in the shape of a four that Mrs. Flaming Five has prepared. Dinner's ready. Five times nine is forty-five. What's the story of five times ten? When Flaming Five meets the Potion Magi Ten, it makes him very, very hungry. He dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. He gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Oh, Five times ten is fifty. Oh.